Today we released GE's sustainability report, and we used the theme that actions speak louder than words. GE has changed a lot over its 129 year history. The one thing that stayed the same is a higher purpose that drives our passion for sustainability. From our founder, Thomas Alva Edison, to the Halley at X, the world's most powerful offshore wind turbines built today, our pioneering technologies aim to positively transform the world and improve the lives of people everywhere. First, we want to reduce the emissions associated with the generation of energy, but we also want to make energy more accessible to the billion people in the world who lack reliable energy to turn on their lights, to access health care, to be able to go to school. When we think of breakthrough technologies in the energy sector, we think of carbon capture sequestration and decarbonizing gas turbines longer term. We also look to hydrogen as a fuel. Already today, our turbines can run on a mix of gas and hydrogen. We're looking to increase the utilization of hydrogen as well as look at green hydrogen production. We're investing in small modular nuclear reactors, the next generation of nuclear technology. We're really proud of the investments we're making to make sure we're looking around the corner at solving not only today's sustainability challenges, but helping our customers solve tomorrow's challenges as well. When we think about sustainability, it's critical and essential that everybody in the world have access to strong health care, to the same opportunities to have diagnosis and treatment for any kind of conditions. So one of the things we're very proud about as GE is the way we innovate our technology to make large machines portable, to make them accessible to people in all kinds of geographic conditions, all kinds of socioeconomic conditions, and to make sure we're reaching half of the world's population, which lacks access to reliable health care today. Finally, we're focused on the future of smarter and more efficient flight, knowing that we need to keep people connected, but have to do so in increasingly sustainable ways. So we've announced recently our commitment to develop open rotor technology, building on our legacy of innovating technology for jet engines to increasingly reduce emissions, while at the same time looking decades ahead at what are those breakthrough technologies we need. Moving forward, we plan to approach sustainability like we run our businesses, with an operational rigor, using lean principles to continuously improve and make sure we're eliminating waste. Lean and sustainability go hand in glove. Lean is all about continuous improvement, driving more efficiency, making sure we're using our resources better and more efficiently. We constantly want to improve our processes, not only to be part of the solution, but to make sure we're making people safer when they come to work with GE, that we're addressing human rights across our whole supply chain, that we're looking to be environmental stewards of our resources. We know today the stakes are high. In 2020, we announced we will be carbon neutral in our own operations by 2030. This is a significant commitment for a global industrial company, and we're excited to achieve it. In addition, we're announcing an ambition to be a net zero company by 2050, taking into account the emissions from our sold products. These are frequently referred to as scope three emissions. With our commitment to innovation, we look forward to being a key partner with our customers in providing the tools they need to realize their own emission reduction goals. I feel really privileged to be part of GE, you know, one of 174,000 employees in 170 countries working together, united towards one purpose. That's the thing that kind of leaves me in awe is our global reach and the sophistication of one company united in this commitment to sustainability is something that's a source of pride for all of us.